Okay, we have here today another integral from the MIT Integration B 2024 quarterfinals round one problem two. We have the integral from zero to infinity sine cubed x over x dx. Okay, I did this one a month or so back and what we did on that one was Feynman's trick and today I want to go for an alternative method on this. This one's going to go a little quicker I think. We want to use Lobachevsky's integral formula on this. Let's just take a look at the formula before we get started. Okay, so we have our formula over here to the right, and there is another form of this where you could look at this as sine squared x over x squared. But I'm looking at the other way just because we just have an x in the denominator, so I'm gonna to try to use this form of just sine x over x. And the great thing about this formula is that we get so much simplification with it because this part goes away completely and we're just left with f of x. And also our bounds are simplified. We go from zero to infinity to zero to pi over two. So as long as our f of x is something nice, we should get an easy integral after we do this. But we do have this condition we need to consider. We need our f of x to be something that satisfies this condition. This is gonna imply that it's even and pi periodic. But before we get to this, we need to rearrange our integral because we're not quite in the right form. We need sine x over x. So all I'm gonna do is just split up this numerator. So I'm gonna rewrite it, put it in the form. So we're gonna write it as sine x over x times just everything else, which is just gonna be sine squared x dx. And so for the formula, this is gonna be our f of x right here. And you might be able to tell just by looking at it that this check is gonna work, just first of all, because this is even because we're squaring it, but also a couple identities on sine. If we just look at sine of pi minus x, this is gonna be the same thing as sine x. And then we can also look at sine of pi plus x, this is gonna be minus sine x. But the reason why it's fine is we're gonna be squaring it for our function. For the case of our f of x, it's gonna be squared, squared here. This right here is gonna be f of x, so the first part it works. Here you square this, you square this. The minus sign's not gonna matter, but when we square it, this becomes a plus. And so this is also f of x, so this check is gonna work. And so this is really all we need. And so we can just go ahead and use the formula to simplify this. So what's gonna happen is this now, we change our balance, we're going from zero to pi over two. This goes away, and now we're just integrating sine squared x dx. But then I can use power reduction on this. We're going same bounds. We can write this as one half, one minus cosine two x dx. I'll go ahead and integrate it. You can kind of distribute the one half in, bring it out, whatever you feel like. So when we integrate one half, we're gonna get one half x minus here, we're gonna have one half Integral of this is going to be sine 2x, but we need to bring another one half out. So we'll have another half here, and we just need to evaluate from 0 to pi over 2. But when you plug in 0, you get zeros everywhere. You plug pi over 2 in here, 2 times pi over 2 is just pi. This part goes away completely. We just need to plug pi over 2 in here. Multiplying pi over 2 times 1 half for my final solution of this, we just get pi over 4. Okay, there you go. Good one from MIT. 2024. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.